My name is Jason, and on today's video, we're going to be running some samples of LED light bulbs through our scrap system here behind me. We're going to feed them through the hammer mill. They'll come out down on the conveyor belt, come up under the mag belt, separate any of the ferrous material, and all the non-ferrous is going to go off the end, which can be further separated. Here's a quick look at our samples. We've got two different categories here. These are LED tubes that have been cut up into little pieces so they'll fit down the hammer mill. These are mostly plastic and then there's a little aluminum piece that runs down the bottom of these lights and that's where the value is. We're trying to separate that from the plastic here. Then we have these plastic and glass light bulbs and again we're going to crush these all up and try and separate the valuable copper and aluminum from the waste plastic. We're going to be running our 24 by 16 inch hammer mill. This has a quarter inch slotted screen and mag hammers in it, which we use for our scrap metal processing. They'll fall out of the hammer mill down here onto the conveyor belt. The conveyor belt will pull all the crushed material up under the magnetic cross belt. The magnetic cross belt has a static magnet under it. And as the belt scrapes across that static magnet, those conveyor belt fins will pull any magnetic material off the magnet down the aluminum chute into a separate bin. And all the non-ferrous that doesn't get pulled off by the magnet will come out the end of the conveyor for further sorting. Well, now to try and speed up the process, we're going to run these through our dual shaft shredder. Get them down in a little bit smaller pieces so the hammer mill doesn't have to work so much to get them down to quarter inch. We'll do a two-stage shredding process. Oh man, that worked great. And I think you probably might want to have a separation step between the shredder and the hammer mill because that's clean aluminum. That doesn't need to go through the hammer mill. A lot of this stuff is, you know, a lot of those pieces are all clean. There's no reason to pulverize them anymore. Throw that in the clean aluminum bin. Same with a lot of this plastic. That's all plastic. That doesn't need to go through the, the hammer mill. So you may want to put an eddy current or some sorting device between the shredder and the hammer mill and really increase the throughput of the system. Because that's the goal. You don't want to shred it any smaller than you have to to get the job done. And this looks pretty darn good as it is. There's still some stuff you want to put through the hammer mill. This stuff, you got still pieces that are got plastic and metal on them. But boy, that shredder helped out quite a bit. And here's a look at those two samples. These were the plastic tubes. And so a lot of this larger stuff is the plastic you're seeing. And then there's a bunch of little pieces of aluminum in here that with a little eddy current, you could kick all that aluminum out and save the non-ferrous metals. Neither one of these samples had really any ferrous in it at all. But here's a look at the bulbs. Similar, this one actually has a lot more aluminum in it. See the aluminum balls? Some of those uh, look like outdoor lights had a large aluminum cage on them. But a little bit of copper wire in there, some plastic, and a whole lot of aluminum. A few little PC boards as well. Well, I hope you enjoyed this quick demonstration of our 24 by 16 inch scrap system. If you'd like more information on our equipment, you can find our contact information in the description below. So thanks everybody for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.